Thanks, Sarah. Thank you, Dr. Sarah. Okay. Just leave it on there just for a moment. People get a chance to read the words there. Just in case you didn't know where the name Compline comes from. It's nothing to do with Compline. Although I have heard it described as spiritual ovalting. A way to wind down at the end of the day. <laughs> Thanks, Janet. Would you please stand to sit? No, 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 no. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. You please be seated. So together we pray. 
most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. We're going to sing this one unaccompanied. If you'd like to stand, please. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Thank you, John. Shall we read the psalm responsorially if you respond with the even-numbered verses as I read the odd numbers? Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. But know that the Lord has shown me his marvelous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. You have put gladness in my heart more than when their corn and wine and oil increase. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Please be seated. This evening's reading is from John's Gospel, chapter 12, beginning at verse 1. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus lived, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. Here a dinner was given in Jesus' honor. Martha served, while Lazarus was among those reclining at the table with him. Then Mary took about half a liter of pure nard, an expensive perfume. She poured it on Jesus' feet, and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, 
who was later to betray him, objected. Why wasn't this perfume sold and the money given to the poor? It was worth a year's wages. He did not say this because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. As keeper of the money bag, he used to help himself to what was put into it. Leave her alone, Jesus replied. It was intended that she should save this perfume for the day of my burial. You will always have the poor among you, but you will not always have me. Meanwhile, a large crowd of Jews found out that Jesus was there and came, not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priests made plans to kill Lazarus as well. For on account of him, many of the Jews were going over to Jesus and believing in him. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Would you please stand. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Please sit or kneel to pray. Heavenly Father, we pray for this world in which we live with all of its turmoil and trouble. And we think especially at this time of the situation in Ukraine, the continuing violence and suffering. Lord, we lift to you all those who have been displaced, who have lost loved ones, homes and livelihoods, those who are currently living in fear, trapped, in the midst of the conflict and those who are fearful for the ones they have left behind as they themselves escaped. Lord, we long for an end to this war. 
an end that brings with it peace with justice. We pray for those in positions of responsibility and power and ask you to guide and direct them in their thinking and their decisions. And especially we pray that those who advise President Putin might convince him of the error of the path that he is on. Nor we pray for our own political leaders that they will make the right decisions as to how we as a nation respond to this situation. Nor as we long for peace in Ukraine, we pray too for those other places around the world where there is yet violence and suffering. And we pray for peace there also. Peace with justice for all people. And we pray too for those closer to home who are in need, whose lives are troubled. We lift to you all who we know, who are unwell and need your healing. Those who are sad or lonely and need to know that they are loved. Those who mourn. They may know the comfort of your peace and your presence. And we pray for ourselves and for your church around the world. That in this holy week, as we reflect again upon the events of that Easter time 2,000 years ago, of Jesus' journey to and through Jerusalem, to the cross and the tomb, and to resurrection. Lord, we ask you, to make this familiar story sing again in our hearts that we may be equipped and enabled to bring the message of your love your salvation and your life to those with whom we have to do lord we ask it in jesus name amen so we pray together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We say together, true and humble King, hailed by the crowd as Messiah, grant us the faith to know you and love you that we may be found beside you on the way of the cross, which is the path of glory. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray. And in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. 
for the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. So may the Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen.